Once upon a time, in a world not too dissimilar from our own, a fascinating journey began, the domestication of pigs. The story starts in the ancient Near East, around 10,000 years ago, where early humans first encountered wild boars. These early humans, known as hunter-gatherers, noticed the remarkable qualities of these creatures and began to form a unique bond with them. It all began when these hunter-gatherers realized that the wild boar, a sturdy and resilient animal, could provide them with not only meat, but also valuable resources like leather and bones. This realization marked the humble beginnings of a partnership that would shape the course of history. The process of pig domestication was a gradual one. Initially, humans would selectively hunt and capture young wild boars, bringing them back to their settlements. These boars were raised alongside humans, and over generations, a remarkable transformation occurred. The boars became tamer, more adaptable to human environments, and their physical characteristics changed subtly through genetic selection. As the relationship between humans and pigs deepened, so did their geographical reach. Pig domestication spread from the Near East to other parts of the world, including Europe, Asia, and Africa. Each region had its own unique breeds and husbandry practices, shaped by local conditions and cultural preferences. Pigs brought immense benefits to humanity. They were a valuable source of food, providing succulent meat and fat that could be preserved for long periods. Pigs were also skilled scavengers, capable of consuming a wide variety of food scraps and agricultural waste, turning what would have been discarded into valuable sustenance. In addition, their skins were used for clothing, their bones for tools, and their manure as fertilizer. However, despite the widespread appreciation for the pig's usefulness, there were cultures and religions that prohibited the consumption of pork. One of the most well-known examples is the religious dietary law known as kosher in Judaism and halal in Islam. These dietary restrictions stemmed from a combination of cultural, historical, and religious factors. For example, in the case of Judaism, pork was seen as ritually impure, and abstaining from its consumption became a way to reinforce religious identity. Other cultures and regions, such as some indigenous communities in the Americas, also avoided pork consumption for various reasons, including the availability of alternative protein sources and cultural beliefs surrounding pigs. In conclusion, the history of pig domestication is a tale of humans recognizing the potential of wild boars and forging a remarkable partnership that shaped our civilizations. From their early beginnings in the ancient Near East, pigs spread across the globe, providing humans with food, resources, and companionship. While the consumption of pork was embraced by many cultures, some chose to prohibit it due to cultural, historical, or religious reasons. Nevertheless, the impact of pig domestication on human society remains undeniable, reminding us of the complex and intricate relationship between humans and animals.